Thank you very much. Lord Mayor, welcome. Because we are not simply in our great city of Manchester, we are in our great constituency of the Gorton constituency. And we always welcome the Lord Mayor to our constituency. <laughs> Friends, it is a wonderful occasion this afternoon. <clears throat> the Pakistani, the Indian, the Bangladeshi contribution to the culture and fabric of our great city of Manchester and indeed our country is something that is being celebrated this afternoon. Where else would we have such a large gathering, not simply to have a wonderful meal which we've been served today, but to celebrate poetry, to celebrate culture? Because people from the Indian subcontinent who have settled here over very, very many years and with whom I have precious links have brought so much to our city. They have brought religion, the Muslim religion, which we celebrate. They have brought the wonderful food of which our area is the base and which everybody, regardless of religion, culture, ethnicity, loves and enjoys. They brought business, they brought hard work, but a, they have brought a culture which adds to the culture of our great city and our great country. And to have an afternoon in which we are celebrating poetry and individual poets enriches all of us. My long association with the communities from the Indian subcontinent, from Pakistan, from Bangladesh, for India, is one of the most precious assets to me as a member of parliament. It is marvellous for me to come from Westminster where so much nonsense and rubbish is talked, to come from Parliament where so much of the needs of the people I represent are neglected, and to come here to this city, to this wonderfully rebuilt library, and to be here to celebrate poetry. As has been pointed out by Mr. Anwar, and I think, thank Mr. Anwar for all, and his associates, for all the care and trouble that they have taken to organize this event and other events. The fact is that we here have a contribution to elevating our minds, to enriching our lives. I am a writer, and I have had books published but I've never dared, I have never dared to try poetry. I write prose and I write books and I write books of various subjects and I'm lucky that they get published. But poetry is above and beyond anything that I am capable of writing. And that is why I admire it so much more. And this afternoon, we celebrate, but let us never, never, never forget while we are celebrating that there are people who are not celebrating this afternoon. Let us think of the people of Palestine who have nothing to celebrate and whom we must never forget and whom we must work to make free. And, and And let us think of the people of Kashmir, who this afternoon have other things to think about than celebrating poetry, because they need their freedom as well. But while we think of others who are suffering, 
Let us above all celebrate this afternoon. I cannot begin to tell you what it means to me to represent a constituency and a city where poetry is high on the agenda, where beauty and lovely language are high on the agenda. I'm deeply grateful to have been asked to be here this afternoon. But more than my presence, and if the Lord Mayor will forgive me, even more than the presence of the Lord Mayor, is your presence here today. The fact that you have come here this afternoon in such large numbers to celebrate poetry. I'm very pleased that the Arts Council is associated with this. My friend who heads the Arts Council, Dame Liz Forgan, I know values what you are doing. But what I want to say to all of you is this. You are enriching your lives and the lives of everybody among whom we live by celebrating poetry this afternoon. So let us thank the poets. Let us thank the poets whom we are celebrating this afternoon and wish them more and more words of beauty to produce for us, for us to celebrate and for us to have our lives enriched by. Thank you very much indeed. This is a wonderful afternoon. <laughs>